two days after election day and Americans still don't know which party controls Congress the results for the Senate are mostly in except for three. States Arizona, Nevada, and Georgia for the House the results could take longer the Republicans have an easier path to the 28 seats they need to control that. Chamber even if they lose the House Democrats are taking a victory lap after overperforming on election night while the press and the pundits are predicting. A giant red wave it didn't happen news latest Senate count 48 Democrats to 49 Republicans meaning whichever party can. Clinch two of the three remaining seats will win the majority in Arizona and Nevada they're still counting ballots and the margins are razor thin the mail. We'll continue to process every day if neither the Democrats nor Republicans sweep those seats then the Senate majority will once again come. Down to a runoff race in Georgia there is one race in our state that is going to be moving to the December 6th runoff incumbent Democratic Senator Raphael. Warnock and Republican challenger Herschel Walker were tied at 49% on election night but one of them needed to surpass 50% to win president. Biden doing his part promoting a fundraiser for Warnock and his personal Twitter page we will hear from the people of Georgia. I don't come to lose in the House Republicans are inching closer to taking a majority albeit a slim one minority leader Kevin McCarthy already publicly seeking support to become the next Speaker of the House despite dozens of races still being undecided do you have the votes for both the majority? And the speakership yes for now all eyes are on Nevada and Arizona where officials continue to count thousands of votes in every day. As they release more results in their Senate races we may get a better sense of which party is gaining or losing momentum and win.